Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm trying out a new brand by the name of Define. And this one is very exciting to me because I love trying on athleisure and active wear brands that I have never tried on and get like that first impression kind of review. So right off the bat, I do want to mention that I am not sponsored by Define or affiliated with Define. I'm not an ambassador. I don't have a code to give you, but I do have an honest review 100% and the pieces that I'm going over today even though it's kind of a short haul it is going to be 100% my sincerest honest opinion on each and every single piece here so we do have 4.5 inch shorts because I know some of you ladies like those short shorts I also got leggings I got two sports bras and I got this cool little zip that we're gonna go over in just a second so to keep this intro nice and short and you guys can just go straight into it I do own always put chapters down below so that if you guys are interested in just one little section you can always click those chapters down below and select whatever you want to watch I also did stay to my true size medium so I am a medium in everything in this haul whether it's shorts leggings tops sports bras everything is a size medium and if you want to compare I have my measurements listed down below and you can see my measurements my usual measurements so a little bit of background on the brand that I am reviewing today. I really actually don't know much about it. I do know that they are very new. They are considered a good brand and actually somewhat affordable when it comes to pricing and things like that. The reason why I decided to try to do Define before any of the other hundreds of other activewear brands, like this one Trumped Honor Active for me and Young LA. I have tons of brands on my list to review but this one definitely caught my attention because it seems to have a very pronounced scrunch and I know there's tons of you ladies out there who are interested in the scrunch I definitely want to see how these compare on me physically to myself against the Alpha Lee Amplify which for me still holds top tier scrunch winner if there's ever an award to give a scrunch legging, I think the Alpha Lee and the Amplifies, also the Amplify Contours, definitely deserve their trophy or their medal because they're just great. This is gonna be very interesting for me to try on. Mentally compare how they do against the Alpha Lee Amplifies. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start the review. That rhymed, <laughs> that wasn't on purpose. So let's go ahead and start. Okay guys, and here we have the Impact Sports Bra. And I chose this one in a nude color. For those of you who like nude colors, because I feel like I don't get nude colors enough because I'm not into nude colors, but I know some of you out there really like to keep it simple and plain. And this one is for you. So this is like a nice beige kind of color. This bra kind of, the way that it came out of the bag is the way that you see it it just kind of looks like a mess <laughs> to be honest with you I feel like it's a little too wide and it's kind of wrinkled and crinkled all over the place it does have removable cup pads and we also have this nice halter crop this is basically the support for your neck <laughs> this is how it looks in the back right there okay you do have that little ribbing this part right down here is a ribbing and the material itself is a seamless material the neckline does look kind of squarish it reminds me of that buff bunny halter crop if you wanted to remove the cup pads you can it has like a hole right there an insert so you can take those out if you don't need them and then another interesting little bit is how it says on the inside this is for all of them for everything it just says let nobody define you so not much to say about this bra she's very simple i just feel like she's a little bit too wide i've never had a halter sports bra that fit me well but we'll give it a chance let's see how it goes and yeah let's just try it on okay guys and here we have the impact sports bra so this is a halter 
bra. And my first impression is that it needs some work. So this bra fits pretty well except for some little areas that I would like, I would wish that Define could definitely define on. It doesn't look bad. It has the typical kind of U-shaped, squarish U-shaped kind of neckline. Very appealing. It, it does have that Define logo right in the front. I'm really not a fan of plastering everyone with these front define logos everywhere i just feel like a walking billboard i'm not into it at all it's just kind of i feel like yeah i'm just advertising for them so that's not really my picnic the bra is offering some very nice coverage so i don't feel like my girls are spilling out they are looking quite modest with all of this coverage but i'm actually happy for it the straps do go kind of triangular from this point because they open up they're open down here and then they close all the way up to the back of the neck i'll show you guys how the back looks like in a second but yeah it does have cup pads you can remove them we do have this little rib band down here and like with most bras i am not i'm not sitting right where i should so if my breast should be sitting right on this line i'm going well over that line as you can see this is where i am right there you see where it indents that's basically where my breast is ending and the rest is a super short line bra so when it comes to side boob we're doing pretty good with the side boob nothing is cutting in and it's doing a good job in covering up also i don't have any armpit fat cutting in so that's really good i want to go ahead and show you guys how the back looks so this is how that back looks and i have to say that this strap right here as with all halters i don't know if it's just me all halters normally cut into my neck and it makes me feel uncomfortable so i would not wear this sports bra probably ever just because i feel a massive amount of discomfort right at the neck because of the halter this could just be depending on me maybe for you it's something different but that's what makes me most uncomfortable in this entire sports bra we do not have any spilling up on the top we are very well kept inside which i do like and then the other thing that i noticed is that the sizing for the sports bra seems to be a little off if you can't see it there's a little bit of extra fabric here and it does actually wrinkle even if you look at it from this point of view i'm standing on my tippy toes here so you guys can see it see how it just kind of wrinkles up like this and i'm not really doing anything to it maybe that's just how it sat in the bag but i feel like i have this extra fabric here from frontal view you can't even really tell but i see it and i just think that there's more fabric here than they should be if they could like cut up this much then i think it would be perfect it just has extra fabric here so when it comes to sizing i would still say stay to your true size there's nothing that you can do about this little bit or the halter the halter is not adjustable and neither is the front of this neckline boob line there's nothing we can do about that. The bra itself does fit comfortably and it feels like a size medium for sure. But I would still say stay to your true size because neither one of these things we can fix. If you really, really wanted this bra, stay to your true size. And even though this is a halter top and I predict light support, I'm gonna go ahead and do some jumps so that you guys can see how supportive it looks. Okay, so I would actually give it light, almost medium support. So definitely a little bit more supportive than I actually expected. And one thing that I will say is that this bottom band, it does not cut in anywhere all around my body. It just, it fits very comfortably. My main issue is with the halter itself and that's it. Okay, and this is the Dynamic Backless Sports Bra. And I did choose it in this beautiful blue color because lately I've been into blues more than ever. But it looks like 
almost like a long line bralette kind of thing because it's such a squared off neckline mostly squared i mean it does curve inward a little bit over here but so you guys can see look how cute that actually is and then the material feels like a nice thick seamless material let me go ahead and show you guys what it looks like up front as you can see there's like a slight bit of ribbing in between the breasts right here and then this bottom band right here has that ribbing which is typical of any seamless materials so you do have a very obvious defined logo right down here can't really miss it to be honest and you do have these little straps they are not adjustable they do feel kind of thicker than your regular ones and they are stretchy but we'll see how that all is once i have it on there's built-in cup pads and then this is how it looks in the back this will look better stretched out like this and yes there's extra writing in there i'll tell you what it says in a second but just wanted to show you guys how it looks i do appreciate that the inside is the same color as the outside because sometimes some brands like to color the inside in a nude color and if there's any moving around of that bra you're gonna see it through i do like it when the sports bra is fully 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 just one color so this is what that inside says let nobody define you i do like this little saying because we do let some people define us especially at the gym you go in and people are already judging you what you can do what you can't do based on how you look and nobody really knows your strength so it's just something that you can keep in your mind like let nobody define you you know you are you you're the person that knows yourself and you have no limitations and go out there and kill your workout i do like that little attention to detail all in all super cute little bra it is a size medium it's kind of looking like a size small to me so i'm kind of a little bit worried but we'll see maybe it does have a good amount of stretch because the ribbing does feel stretchy this feels like a thick bra in the hand honestly but we'll see how far we can make it stretch how much support it gives and how much everything shows Hopefully not that much shows. <laughs> Let's go ahead and try it on. Okay guys, and here we have the dynamic backless sports bra. And in this beautiful blue color, once again, I hit blue. I love blue, starting to like it a lot. So first impressions is, I'm actually surprised at how comfortable it is. The back, the crisscross, does feel a little bit tight coming across, but nothing extraordinary, nothing like the halter. The halter was a lot tighter because it goes around your neck kind of pushes your neck down a little bit so that's uncomfortable so with this one we do have a very nice simple neckline it is a seamless sports bra so it does have that seamless material i did show you guys already how it does have a little bit of contouring just patterns here and then the rib cage band is a ribbed material it goes all the way around there is no line for you to actually feel like obligated to to sit into so that's a good thing and mine are just there it's a short line bra for me it might be longer line for somebody with a smaller bust but for me it fits fine very good coverage so nothing crazy there's gonna be no boob show here and nothing spilling out over the top i do not have any cutting in through the armpits and my armpits are pretty well covered no side boob going on here so i do like that both things are very good so when it comes to my shoulders i do not feel a whole lot of cutting in there is a little bit of cutting in but nothing crazy i do kind of wish that more of these sports bras had adjustability some brands are adding a lot of adjustability lately to their things but with this one we don't have any adjustableness so we just have to deal with it however we can and let me go ahead and show you guys how it looks on the back so this is that back let me go ahead and stand a little bit more forward i do like how it looks it's very flattering with the crisscross but this area right here is the part that i was saying feels a little bit tight to me i think that if they could just add adjustable straps right here instead of this you would be satisfying your customers a whole lot more because some of us want a little bit more tightness more snugness and others would rather a little bit more of a looser more simple fit so i do like the support that it's giving me however I would rather, if it was adjustable, I would rather open up the straps a little bit more just to ease 
the tension on my upper back. So around the rib cage, it does not feel tight. I feel nice and comfortable. My girls are not looking any weird. This one does not have any extra fabric like the other sports bra. And she is quite stretchy, which I do like. One other thing that I don't like that I have mentioned, will keep mentioning is the Define logo in the front. However, in this case, I kind of understand because they can't put it in the back because the back is all strappy. So in this case, I will allow that one small I could even cover it up if I pull this up a little bit <laughs> I'll, I'll allow myself to be the billboard for this one time for define but that's pretty much it so the sizing does feel true to size it feels comfortable just minor discomfort in some areas and I want to go ahead and go over the jump test to see how this does with support okay here we go Okay, so I would say light support because these straps, there's only one on each side. They crisscross in the back, which means that your back doesn't actually have a whole lot of support. You're covered in the front, but that's pretty much it. So I would definitely label this one as light support. I would say this is a really good bra for going to the gym, doing some very basic low impact exercises, and maybe even just lounging would be fine i would definitely recommend picking this one up over the halter it just feels a lot more comfortable but it all depends on you whether you're ibtc or btc it's up to you so i am slightly more in the bigger titty committee and i actually do like this one okay guys and here i got the dynamic zippy so i have been curious about these they look so cute on a lot of the models that were trying it on and i didn't want to try to snap one for myself and see how it fit i did love this pink color i was tempted to get it for the leggings but i decided to go against it because i figured that it was just being too sheer and not really worth it for leggings or shorts like that but i do like how it looks on this little jacket and the jacket is of a seamless material it is nice and stretchy and the sleeves look nice and long although they could be a little bit longer okay this is a size medium don't know if I mentioned that already. This is how it looks on the back. Okay, pretty basic. It does have a little bit of ribbing under the arms and that ribbing just basically goes down up until this point right here. Okay, and it's like that on both sides. Now this does not have any pockets, not on the outside or the inside so even if you open it up there's nothing in there it's a simple short neck kind of little zipper i do not like those ones that go all the way up here that are kind of like choking you i'm not into those i really like the fit the look of this one okay the defined logo is also up here it's nowhere else but up here and then there is a defined logo right on that zipper right there it says define i'm eager to try this one on can't wait to see how it fits i mean i've kind of messed with it a little bit but haven't fully tried it on yet so let's go ahead and try it on okay guys and here we have the dynamic zippy so there's a couple of things that come with this one i already kind of accommodated it to my arm length but first impressions are i love the length i don't necessarily like that it scoops because it scoops here and it scoops in the back also i don't really like the scooping i would really like it for it to just be flat or straight across the thing is that if you're sitting down and it just rolls up when you stand up it's going to look like this so you kind of have to be thinking about it also this one doesn't come with any pockets but it still does look pretty cute it really does the pink actually it just gives me a, a lot of barbie vibes because it's such a light pink color you do have to be careful of what you wear underneath because the color can be pretty sheer i've actually seen their leggings in this color and i wouldn't dare i just would not dare at all and here it is i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that's how it looks zipped up and usually zipping up makes me nervous because I have caught my throat like the skin on my throat before and I've even lifted up my neck it's not like I have a ton of hanging skin off of my neck but it has pinched me before with this one since it's short and it doesn't go quite so high up I feel like I'm safe 
which is great. So that's how it looks zipped up. And then I'll go ahead and zip it down. The zipper does glide pretty good. It does get a little sticky, but overall it opens and closes pretty well. Okay, so this is how it looks just open. Once again, there's no pockets for this one, so there's nothing on this side, nothing on that side, nothing on the outside, nothing on the back. It is just a pretty simple little zipper jacket. So this does have some ribbing, like ribbing kind of paneling over here on the side. It goes all the way under and basically down your rib cage, almost coming in towards the breast and disappears about over here. Has literally nothing down in the bottom. Same thing goes for the other side. It just looks the same. And then this is how the back looks. Pretty simple, nothing special. Let me stand out a little bit. For me, this is a size medium. The only issue that I have, which I haven't gotten to, is actually the sleeves. So the sleeves, for me are just a little bit short. So these are not thumb hole sleeves. These sleeves are just pretty simple. They do sit pretty well on my watch. However, most of the times when things try to cover up my watch, I just fold them over a little bit back. That way I can still see my watch. If I get an alert or whatever, I can still use my watch. So. For me, the left side doesn't bother me quite so much, but the right, if I pick up my hands, you can't even see, it does expose a lot of my wrist. Maybe that's just me because I am a long limbed person. And yeah, it just basically just shows off a lot of wrists. I would like it if it was just a little bit longer. Like if it just covered up to here, at least. I would be happier with it. Also, the sleeves are not tight. The sizing is true to size. However, I feel like in some areas, there is a little bit of extra in some places. Like for example, here on the sleeves, you would think that normally when I size medium in jackets like these that are like really skin tight, they're usually really, really tight. And I, I feel conflicted about this because it's a good thing and a bad thing. I'm glad I'm not super tight where I feel like my arms are suffocating but at the same time it kind of looks a little awkward I don't know at least it does to me so if I had to say sizing I would still say true to size go ahead and size normally when it comes to this little jacket however keep in mind that you might have a little bit of extra fabric in some places maybe for you it won't happen like this with the sleeves usually for me I stay to my true size but I don't think I would have sized down at all just for the sleeves because then it would have been super super tight okay guys and here we have the impact shorts and these are a 4.5 inch inseam and these are size medium so i did get these ones for you guys you ladies out there that like the 4.5 inch shorts because i know a lot of you do not like biker shorts and you're often asking me to pull them up my biker shorts so that they can see like a four inch kind of version so I did go ahead and just get a 4.5 inch shorts just for you guys. So here it is. This is the impact shorts and these are also a scrunch short. So the ribbing, I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys how the ribbing does have three tiers of compression very very similar to the alpha the amplifies one thing i will say right off the bat is i don't like this <laughs> it is right in the front and also in the back i just realized that the other the leggings that i have are also the same thing so not happy about that but there's no front seam so we shouldn't have to worry about camel toe so we'll see about that so here is the scrunch and it is quite the scrunch i don't know if you can see that but it's very very wide and it is stretchy but it's very very wide i wonder if that's gonna be invasive still haven't tried these on you're always gonna get like first impressions from me and if you don't then it's 
because I've already tried them on, which I'll probably mention. But um, I still haven't tried these on. So I do want to talk real quick about the fabric composition. So it is a seamless material, but it feels thicker. If you've ever felt Alphaly Amplifies, these are a thicker material than that. They do have a lot of contouring and ribbing along the sides, as you can see right there. And then under the glutes, it actually does go all the way under the glutes. So all of this is compressed. And then the area in which your butt cheeks will sit, that one is not compressed. That one has a lot more stretch and room to it. This is kind of reminding me of the Miracle Leggings and also the Lazuli. From my Lazuli review, I'll link it up here. Put it down in the description box below also. And the Buff Bunny, the one that I cover, the Miracle Leggings, which was the Juicy Collection, I believe. I'll also put that one up here and put it down below. If you guys want to see what I'm, what I'm even talking about. Yeah, they all have this ribbing compression underneath. I'm not sure how many people are comfortable with this. I felt that I was semi-comfortable, but this is not something that I'm always going to go for. To have all that ribbing underneath your legs, if you're not comfortable with that level of tightness, imagine it's like a tight compressive waistband, but all the way around your thighs and whatnot, you might be uncomfortable with that kind of thing. This one also says let nobody define you in the front so it is stretchy although it's not that stretchy so we shall see it feels kind of stiff to be honest so let's go ahead and try it on and see how it fits okay guys and here i have in the blue shorts the 4.5 inch impact shorts wow is all i can say about these shorts they definitely run small so first off i will say that they run small size up at least for me they have i am a true size medium this is a size medium i checked it and it is medium and this does not fit like a medium at all as a matter of fact i'm not sure i'll be able to show you the scrunch because there's no way for me to maneuver the scrunch into getting in between my glutes so i will give you guys all the details in just a sec i just want to give you guys my first impressions and this is what they are the shorts are very very tight consider sizing up if you really want them i got the 4.5 inch for you ladies that love the 4.5 inch shorts or the 4 inch shorts because I know a lot of you do not like the 6 inch shorts because biker shorts might not be your thing. For me, I love biker shorts. I am a tall person so I feel like this length is not... It looks good but it doesn't make me feel comfortable. And if it doesn't make me feel comfortable then I won't use it. So, okay. So starting from the beginning, first things first. Here is the waistband. So this is fitting to me kind of like a mid-rise so i know it is covering my belly button belly button is right here so it's almost a peekaboo so it's right there and it is not very high i do normally like my waistbands more high rise than a mid-rise but it is what it is we have the define logo which i think i've already said it if you've seen any other part of this review so far i hate frontal logos i really don't like front logos the waistband is made of this ribbing which is typical of any seamless legging they're mostly all ribbed the stretch is kind of just there but i can't really confirm that this is the stretchiest waistband so i might not want to wear this one when you have a super bloated day or something like that unless you're into that compression if you're into the compression and feeling snatched if you have a shorter torso than me this might not be a mid-rise for you this might be a little bit more than a mid-rise probably almost a high rise but for me i don't like super tons of compression and this one is feeling compressive to me but it might just be sizing also so i would say once again size up you're gonna hear me say this a couple of times here okay if i bend down i do not have any gaping but i do feel a slight bit of a roll down so i really can't say that i would do any any bending down exercises no deadlifts for me with these shorts because i would just be worried it's not gonna roll down all the way to the, my butt 
salt crack, but I do not want it to be exposing me at all. I'm realizing right now, pieces of that logo are falling off as I wear it. So this let nobody define you logo, it's on all the bottoms or at least the two bottoms that I got. And it's already breaking apart to the point where I feel it under my skin and I've touched it and little white pieces of it are falling off. So uh, not the best in quality for that. Okay, so when it comes to these shorts, I want to see if these shorts will roll up. They are very tight. They're very tight right down here. So I don't even think there's a possibility of them rolling down. I mean, rolling up because there is just no stretch. So let's go ahead and do some squats and stuff like that. Some leg pull-ups and stuff like that and see how it goes. So please don't break. Okay, they basically stayed in place, but the reason why is because there's no stretch. Guys, I'm seriously giving this everything I got and there's no stretch here at all. You feel that? Well, you can't feel it, but do you see that? There's no stretch. There's no stretch here. So I'm definitely getting sandwiched. You might even see my inner thighs spilling out through the middle. There's no stretch on these because they are so tight. These definitely have some sizing issues. So so usually the next thing I tell you guys is how do they fit whether they are true size not true to size and I think I've already said it a couple of times but I'll go ahead and hit that once again size up because these don't fit like a medium these fit like a small so I would say size up at least one size okay so when it comes to contouring of course these shorts do have some contouring coming down right here and then they go under the glutes which is gonna make for some very flattering looks but I do want to show you guys the side ones first this is how it looks on the other side and yeah they do go down this blue color is very beautiful and then here's how it looks in the back so that contouring is going under my glutes and it stays right back here I don't know if at this angle you guys can see that it just fits super tight this is definitely a no for me personally i'm not a fan of feeling so constricted that i cannot breathe as a matter of fact i'm having a hard time right now giving this review speaking and i'm feeling a little bit out of breath because of all this tightness so bear with me guys so this is how it looks in the back so here's that scrunch and it's not really doing anything i feel it over my glutes right now almost as if there was a balloon right here so there's no way that this scrunch can actually make it between my cheeks right now because it is stretched out to its full maximum so unfortunately i can't really show you guys so much of a scrunch detail here i will still try so give me a chance let me make some adjustments okay i realize that's not much at all but this is what i got this is all that I could get. And honestly, I'm scared to do the squat test because I don't want them to break. So this is as much as I can possibly stretch it. If you guys still like it, if you guys like the color and whatnot, consider, just consider sizing one up. So when it comes to cellulite with these, cellulite is possible no matter what you do when it comes to leggings. It's even possible on some jeans, honestly. Cellulite is something that we can't fully escape. Here I am going and making a, uh, poetry about it but it, it is true when it comes to leggings and cellulite they are two opposites and it's really hard to hide it however the darker color you go the thicker material you have the better chances you are at hiding the cellulite it's never going to be 100 foolproof i think that 98 percent of all women have some kind of cellulite and it's okay it's normal but when it comes to these shorts since my cellulite my cellulite is basically everywhere but I don't feel like it is super visible, at least around my butt area or my lower leg area. Only obviously the parts that spill out, which is my legs, anything that is not covered in the shorts material, seamless material itself. I feel like it would do a good job in covering the cellulite on my behind because I do have cellulite there too. Okay, so these shorts do not have any extra material in the front, which I'm glad about, but that might just be because of the sizing. I'm gonna go ahead and open my legs open and shut and we'll see how well they do with camel toe.
even though that was a simple little test I would still mention to you guys to please keep in mind that you're not just going to be standing for sometimes for there to be some camel toe you might be doing some more strenuous activity and get camel toe so just keep that in mind but overall I don't feel like anything is riding up into that area okay I'm gonna go ahead and do the squat test hopefully I don't break these Okay, I didn't break them, but I did feel them sliding down. So keep that in mind. These are gonna slide down a little bit. Just like when I did the bending over test, it's gonna slide down a little bit in the back. Not sure why, because it's so compressive. It really has no reason to move at all. Okay, when it comes to pilling and dander, remember those kinds of things don't really affect seamless leggings too much. Maybe pilling more than dander, but just keep in mind, you have a low percentage of this attaching to any cat fur or doggy fur. If it does, it's a simple swipe it off kind of thing. It's not gonna be a deal breaker. Okay guys, and here we have the dynamic legging this is a size medium I did choose it in this nice gray color I do like my grays I have to be honest and the lighter they are the more that I actually like them so here we have them you can tell they are a nice ribbed material a very high waisted waistband right here and then you can see where the seam just cuts off right there and continues nice seamless front no camel toe hopefully you know let's cross our fingers and then i want to show you guys real quick how it looks in the back so the ribbing just continues all the way down and of course we have a scrunch we cannot do without it so these are the ones that would be similar to the alpha Lee amplify although they have the impact also i did get those in shorts but this is the one that i'm majority gonna be thinking about the alpha Lee amplifies in terms of when it comes to competition i do like how they look how they feel they feel kind of heavier than your typical amplifies a little bit thicker also so keep that in mind and then we do have this scrunch which is very very thick in comparison to the other scrunches that i have seen in the past i have already done a little battle of the scrunch leggings tons of scrunch leggings just basically against each other and i will go ahead and link that video up here where there's a couple of of different brands including Alpha Lee Amplify if scrunch leggings is your thing there's tons of them on there and I go through all of the details that I can possibly go through in that video so if you guys are wondering about scrunch leggings just in general check that one out I also have it in, down in the description box this one is very thick I would have to say very very thick and let's see yes definitely stretchy although I have to say I feel like amplifies have a bit more stretch than this but it's still very very stretchy okay there it is once again let nobody define you so this isn't on your back this is the front side actually this part here is the back where it says your size this is a size medium but I do like that little attention to detail as soon as you put it on you're gonna see it let nobody define you and I absolutely stand by that quote because people don't know us they really don't know us you know so let the haters hate <laughs> and we have cannot miss it a large defined logo we have a double logo so front logo and back logo do not support this decision <laughs> i'm sorry but i think one logo is enough and that logo should always be in the back it's already pretty it's actually a good font size and it's not like super spread out kind of like patula seamless ones that the patula ones were like right here and the words patula were like huge we don't have to worry about that not for this one one, but it is on the waistband which is strange I've never seen it actually on the waistband but behind we already we're good with one we don't need two especially in the front I I, I can't I don't like that <laughs> one is enough then I did want to talk about real quick the gusset so the gusset does look kind of small but it is a nice triangular gusset so that might help with the uh, camel toe situation you know where you situate so let's go ahead and try these on and we shall see how good they actually are very excited for this one let's try it on okay guys this is the dynamic leggings and these are size medium I already mentioned that in the intro so first impressions 
these were a pain <laughs> let's say pain these were a pain in the rear to put on as all seamless leggings but when i stood up i was kind of scared that the same thing was going to happen to me with the shorts and it would be really unfortunate if i wasn't able to show you the full effect of the scrunch because the sizing is off the sizing for these are a little bit off there's some fit adjustments that would definitely need to be made but in this case it's not as bad as the shorts the shorts were much much worse so that is my first impression let's go ahead and get into the details okay so we have a very nice high-waisted waistband this time we do have high waist not like the shorts that they were a little bit shorter so belly button is all the way down here right there so no peekaboo you can see the beginning of it but that's pretty much it so it does feel compressive but not super compressive this is about the same as i would say an alpha Lee amplify so when it comes to compression it feels pretty good compressive like medium so we do have that little bit of rolling down right here and that's just i guess because i have a little bit more fat right here in my back right now and it's kind of making the waistband roll down a little bit so the ribbing is a simple ribbing there is no three tiers of compression it's just standard one ribbing all the way around the define logo that i dislike not necessary to have one here and one back there but i've already mentioned that i do not have any extra fabric here it feels nice when it comes to the fabric so the stretch on the waistband we do have more stretch than the impact but I would still not use it for a day of a whole lot of bloating or anything like that because you'll definitely be feeling it. Okay, so bending down, I do feel a slight bit of a dip down. However, not so much. And I'm not scared really because this legging is high-waisted. So when it comes to the stretchiness, it's hard to grasp it. I am pulling it, I finally got it, but it is hard to pinch and pick it up. They are tight, and I say really, really tight on my thighs, but I am gonna do the same stretch as I always do. I bring up my legs and do some knee, bring up my knees, and I will let you know where the biggest amount of compression is, but I can already tell you, just by having it on, there's a lot of compression on my thighs. So let's go ahead and do the test okay wow yeah so everything is tight all of my thigh area is tight all the way up into my knee i can't pull up my knee that high because there is a lot of compression on my knee so it's stopping me because i don't want these to rip and surprisingly it's also tight on my calf area and i don't even have huge calves i don't have very skinny calves but i've never felt compression on my calves before and i do feel compression on them even down here i can't even pick up any fabric break the pool the stretch is limited honestly when it comes to sizing i feel like these fit all right there are some areas that have fit issues like the stretchability of it everywhere and i do feel more compressed than i usually do on mediums if i had to tell you guys what size to get i would still consider sizing up one size they're not as bad as the shorts the shorts are 100 the impact shorts are 100 an issue and i would definitely recommend you sizing up for that one in hindsight these are also giving some fit issues and i'm not sure it's if it's because they're new it's a new legging or maybe this brand isn't quite accustomed to getting the stretch all there i did mention in the beginning that these do not stretch as much as alpha Lee amplifies so there's a limitation there and i definitely feel it okay so when it comes to contouring of course these do follow the same pattern of contour as you can see it okay and they do contour all the way around the glutes so it does make it so that they are flattering this area does have a little bit more stretch than the rest of the legging below your glutes and behind your thighs it is definitely much more stretchy there i feel like there's more ribbing fabric in that area and then on the glutes it's just a more basic stretchy material okay so when it comes to camel toe 
these are a definite candidate for camel toe there is some areas some regions of this legging that are a little bit thicker than others for example right on the glutes is a thinner material and the rest of it is kind of like a more hard almost ribbed fabric so the thicker the fabric the better chances you have at camouflaging cellulite but it is a very light color okay this is how it looks on the back and as you can see the contouring does go underneath the glutes and it just it feels like a thicker fabric right back here and then the contouring just allows for the glutes to really pop it almost looks like they're an entirely different color altogether so this is how it looks normally i just put them on they're supposed to be scrunching and right now they're barely in there so i'm gonna go ahead and adjust it for you guys so you guys can see how it looks after adjusting trying to settle them between the cheeks a little bit if you're not into scrunch leggings into a wedgy feel you might not want to look at these at all okay guys there's not much that changed i believe i believe that it is not really doing all that much for me i tried to settle it in between but i think it's the sizing the one that's got me all messed up i don't really understand why it's just the fit is super super off i have not gained any weight <laughs> that much i know for sure i can't blame it on weight gain because i'm the same but i just can't seem to make it settle between the glutes like my amplifies like my lazulis like the navigation like so many other leggings that i have already tried on and tested and even put them against each other and still i i cannot figure out why these are just not working for me especially when these are supposed to be a really good contender it does still separate the glutes still does make them look flattering the scrunching effect that i expected is not there okay so i'm gonna go ahead and do the camel toe test i do want to give you guys a little bit of a warning it's not really a warning it's just like an advisement so i do have a nude seamless thong underneath and so far i've adjusted it like 20 times so for for some reason these leggings are making my undies move around more and sometimes you might see it like looking like it's camel toe but really it's just that my undies have moved from one place to another and I don't know if it's the legging but usually that does not happen to me so I can't help but blame the legging for it so just keep that in mind I'm gonna go ahead and put a score right down here so you guys can see how well it does on the camel toe please keep in mind that even if it does really well on me that might not be a guarantee that it'll do well on you it all depends on your body some of us are more prone to camel toe than others and also the legging has a lot to do with it on how it sits on your body okay so i'm gonna go ahead and do the squat test put a score right down here please keep in mind i am wearing nude seamless underwear Okay, as I squatted, because I have oh, this tightness right here on my thighs, I felt the bottom slide down a little bit. Okay, keep that in mind. There's just fit issues. There's just fit issues all over the place. And that could be the reason why. Okay, so when it comes to length, I believe these are 26 inches. They do fit very nice and long. They're kind of giving me a little bit more ankle room than I would usually like but they're not so bad so when it comes to length they're pretty good but i'll mention that again they are tight even here on the calves okay and as i always say pilling and dander a lot of people always mention that even seamless leggings do have a little bit of exposure to pilling i've never had that issue so i can't honestly say that these would be great for pilling or not great for pilling but when it comes to dander i feel like for dander it's a simple thing as just swiping it away way you're picking out a lint roller and just removing it it's not a big deal they're not brushed so usually seamless leggings are pretty good when it comes to dander i would still be careful putting these on especially if you have long nails because i feel like they're easy to break when i was putting them on i was trying my best my nails aren't even that long and i was trying my best to be gentle with it because i felt like it could rip on me take it easy trying to put it on take your time adjust yourself make yourself 
feel comfortable. Okay guys, that pretty much concludes this review of Define. I have to say, in my honest opinion, I felt like I was a little bit brutal with this one, but I don't wanna give you guys a fake review. I always want to be here to give you guys the truth. So what you're gonna find from me is always gonna be 100% honesty. And I honestly don't recommend this brand, like for anything at all. The sports bras, yeah. This one for me, it was just a hard pass. The blue one, I currently have it on. That one, is probably uh, the only thing in this entire launch which I would say is worth keeping. Um, this little zippy, it feels kind of cheap. I hate to say it, but it feels like something I got off of Shein or Wish.com or something like that. It just does not feel like something, like the cost, the pricing is more than the quality I'm receiving. So. I'm not trying to bash on Define, I just don't feel like it met my personal standards. For me, simply, this brand is something that I might pass on. Maybe next year, if this brand grows and expands and tries new things to make this work a little bit better, then I would try it again. But for now, at least for me, the fine seems to be a, quite a bit of a pass. The shorts 100% did not fit the way that they should have. Way too tight. And the same thing goes for the leggings. They just could not, I couldn't even, I feel like I didn't lose anything in waiting for these leggings to even pop up. Even though when I did Battle of the Scrunch leggings, I had never heard of the fine. I had never seen them. So to say that they could compare with any of the leggings in Battle of the Scrunch leggings video is a no because they cannot compare when they do not fit right in the first place like get your fit right and then come back to me and maybe we can try but for now all of the sizing all of the it just needs minor fixes just minor fixes so take a look at this i only put on these shorts one time and i did all of that i had it on for a total of about an hour on didn't go to the gym have not washed them haven't done anything with them i just tried them on and i had them on for an hour see the most all of the sizing the letters of the sizing have fallen off i don't know if you guys saw when i was talking about the waistband portion how i felt like there were little pieces of something white coming off really i thought that was probably like one letter that was starting to chip away this happens with just having it on for like an hour so that definitely comes to show you that that there are some serious quality issues with this brand. Here's the same thing for the leggings. The leggings I had even for a shorter amount of time. I had the shorts for a longer time and all of the lettering is gone. So definitely they need to fix some quality issues here because this is not, these things are not cheap. So those shorts were $50, $49. And the leggings were $59, so nearly 60 bucks. And for me, if I'm gonna pay that amount of money, I'd rather spend it on other brands that I know that's not gonna happen to. Like for example, Women's Best is a great example. They have definitely gotten better with a couple Couple of things i do have a women's best review here too and there's so many other brands even paragon that we can buy from them and they're still better quality than what i found this so far i am very disappointed in this brand in the quality of everything i purchased so i'm really sorry for the negative talk but that's just how i feel and i will be returning some of this stuff unfortunately what can we say they can't all be winners i do sincerely hope that i can come back to this brand in like one or two years and see any of the fit changes because they definitely need to work on some of this stuff and that's pretty much it for this video guys i want to thank you all for joining me for being here today once again for another active wear review and i hope to see you guys all in the next video if you like this video please go ahead and give it a like subscribe if you want to and ring the notifications bell that way you get notified on the next video and with all that being said guys thank you once again so much for being here and i will see you guys in the next one